Hi, I'm Miles here at Fabricana. Today we're going to be showing you step by step how to make these unique little um, shoe wings. We're making little bat wings, but you can make all kinds of different um, styles. Uh, some of the things you'll need today are your main fabric, which is something that should be um, weather repellent because it's going to be on your shoes potentially, and also it's going to be rinsed because we're also using a rinse away stabilizer. So the shoes are going to, the wings are going to get a little bit wet. We put a bit of um, craft felt in between just for a little bit of color and also a little bit more body. The other thing we're going to need, obviously, is some matching thread um, or contrast thread as we've used. And we've also used a really handy leather punch to create the holes that the laces will go through. But maybe you can just do um, a hand punch with a hammer, something that comes in the package with grommets. Um, so whatever you have available, um, you can make that work. So once you've got your materials, let's get started. So the first thing we need to get started is a pattern. You can trace this one out. We're going to have it attached for you. Um, we've just done a little bat wing for Halloween. Um, just You can adapt it of course. Just make sure that you have enough length uh, for the holes for your laces. You could make like a little pony wing or a unicorn or whatever you like. So we've got our pattern. Next we have some tearaway stabilizer. Um, that's just going to get laid down. Then we have a nice black upholstery vinyl because we're doing bat wings, so we're using black. I'm placing that face down. I've got some red craft felt for a pop of color and just to give it some body. And then one more layer of the same black upholstery vinyl. The next thing I need to do is trace out my pattern onto my layers of fabric. I'm going to use chalk to do that. Now make sure that when you do this, you do two lefts and two rights. So I finished tracing out my pattern piece. I did one left one, and then I flip my pattern piece over to make the right. So the next thing I need to do is I'm gonna pin. I don't wanna pin through the vinyl in my wing. I'm gonna pin on the outside of my wing because this fabric, when you pin it, tends to leave a hole and we don't want to have holes in our shoe wings. So put the pins around your shoe wing through all the layers including the stabilizer in the back. So I've pinned around the one wing. I'm going to pin around the other one and then we can look at the next step. So we've got our pattern traced out. We've pinned around the outside edge of our cutting line. Now I'm going to roughly cut the two wings apart. So now we are ready to head to the sewing machine. So we've got our wing all pinned and ready to go. All the layers, you can see there's some white stabilizer on the back. Like I said, that's gonna help keep it flat. We're gonna um, be stitching right along our chalk line. I hope you can see that. It's a little white chalk line on the black fabric. And we're just going to sew right on that line. When I get to the end of a seam, I'm just going to leave my needle in my work. I'm going to lift up my presser foot and pivot and then put my presser foot back down. Now you can take these seams because they're a little curvy, nice and slow. It's not a race, so just take your time. And I've just stitched right off the edge of the fabric. So that's our sewing. Then I'm going to show you the next step at the table. So we've just come from the sewing machine where we've stitched the outline of our wings. Now it's time to trim close to that stitching. So the first thing we need to do is pull out our pins. Oh, I just lost the head of my pin. <laughs> so there we have our pins removed. We are now going to actually uh, remove the tear away. So that just means one more layer we won't have to cut through when we're cutting our wing. So tear away just comes away nice and easily. It's made to do this. So you just kind of remove it from, uh, the stitching kind of perforates it, makes it easy to remove. 
So I'll go over that later to get the last few little things, uh, little bits of stabilizer out of my seam. But now that the stabilizer is removed, I'm going to use my scissors to cut about a quarter inch, quarter to an eighth of an inch away from my sewing. And what that cutting does is it gives a nice clean line through all three layers and then it also reveals that nice pop of color from the felt. So here we have our two little shoe wings are so cute. You could use them now once we've punched the holes but I'm going to do a little bit of embroidery. It's optional. Um, you may find that you need to have like a bit of a stronger needle to get through all these layers for the embroidery. But what I want to do is just kind of create that veining that looks on a bat wing. So I'm just going to do that um, just by hand, just kind of draw a couple of guidelines for the embroidery. So before we get started, I just want to say that I've set my machine to a 2.5 stitch width and a 1.6 stitch length. So it's a really tight stitch, so it's really going to show the color. The other thing I want to say is I haven't pinned it because I don't want to stick pins through my little wing, but I'm placing a piece of um, tear away underneath the wing. It really helps the machine feed the fabric through more easily, especially when you're working with vinyl, which tends to stick to the machine. So the stabilizer will really help it um, slide through the machine. So I'm just going to follow right on my uh, chalk line and kind of taking it slow because I'm going around curves. Because we don't want to back stitch because it's going to create a, a big bulky spot there, I'm just going to pull my thread through to the back side of my work. I'm going to tie off those threads so that we have a nice clean finish on the front of our wing. So once we've completed our optional embroidery and removed the tear away, we're ready to put the holes into the wing for the laces. So I've just kind of indicated on my pattern the spacing that I got from my shoe and I'm just going to place the pattern right on top of the wing and I'm using a leather punch. I'm going to line up my punch with the first hole. It's going to take a bit of strength to do this. Go. I'll remove that leather and I will continue with the rest of the holes. So here we have the holes finished. We're ready to lace these onto our shoes. Uh, if you can figure out other crazy ideas where you can use these, maybe with a hairband, um, we would love to hear from you. Um, if you've enjoyed this content and you're looking forward to Halloween as much as we are, please follow us on Facebook and Instagram and our YouTube channel.